my name is Megan Luckett, and I'm the horticulturist at the Bloomquist Garden of Native Plants at Sarah P. Duke Gardens. Sarah P. Duke Gardens is a 55-acre botanical garden in the campus of Duke University, and the Bloomquist Garden of Native Plants is a small six-acre section within that. And Duke Gardens is an eco-explore hotspot. So you may be familiar with the term botany, which is the science of plants. Horticulture is sort of a subset of that, and that includes gardening as well as plant breeding and other things where it's specifically how humans interact with plants. As a horticulturist, I assist in the daily maintenance of a six acre botanic garden here at Sarah P. Duke. So what do I do? I go and plant some of the plants that you see around me. I'm in charge of irrigation or maintenance of paths but I also go out into the field and collect plants, their seeds, and I inventory them as well. I also do design work. So it's very varied and dynamic. Well, there's really no daily routine in as much as it changes all the time. One thing I can say is we fill our bird feeders twice a week as well as check on plants in our greenhouse every day. But other than that, it changes all the time. Well, how long do I have to talk about it? I love working outside and I love combining the fields of horticulture and botany. Myself, as well as all of my colleagues here at Duke Gardens share a love of creating beautiful places with plants. But in the Bloomquist, I get to do a deeper dive into the ecology and botany of plants that are endemic or are specific to the Southeast. And to me, that's truly fulfilling. In the Bloomquist, we try to find ways to honor the place that these plants came from, both visually and ecologically, keeping in mind the pollinators and the wildlife that these plants have evolved with. We also try to keep in mind spaces and designs that might be appealing to the home gardener and that they would want to put in their yard or spaces as well. So the marriage of those two things is extremely rewarding to me. I feel like I'm never bored because there's always new things to learn all the time. There's much more that I don't know than I do, and that's exciting to me. At the end of the day, I just really love plants. So there's so many things that I love about the job, but you might be wondering what I find a challenge. Well, weeding is one thing for certain. You spend all this time pulling out weeds, and then you turn around, and there they are again. The other thing is we have at Duke Gardens over half a million visitors every year. So we need to make sure that we impart etiquette to our guests about staying on the paths and interacting with the plants and structures with care. There's always a lot to learn and observe, so we wanna make sure that we're being respectful and can leave spaces for other people to enjoy as well. So one particularly pivotal moment in my childhood that made me love plants as much as I do was when I was a little girl, my grandmother showed me that aloe plants can be used to treat burns. To my mind, it just went poo! It was amazing to me that something that was just sitting there next to the television was not only alive, but could be used to treat an ailment. And as I've gone along, I have learned a lot more about the ecology of plants. So not only are plants useful to humans, like this aloe I was talking about, but you have all of these different interactions between birds and insects and other animals it was so cool, and to this day, I love plants, and I think that's where it all started. Well, I don't have a particular favorite plant, per se, because there's just too many. How do you choose? This is one that's a native to the southeast that I think is really cool, and that's Trillium maculatum, or the spotted wake robin. Trilliums are one of the really, really neat plants that we have native to this area. Not only is it just sort of funny looking, but it's also spread by ants. That's how the seeds go from one plant to another. Trilliums are something that you see first thing in the spring. They're something that's called a spring ephemeral, 
which means they live their life cycle before all of the trees above them come into leaf. They're here one day and gone the next. Well, the first thing is just to cultivate love and interest in plants. Now, it's probably useful to go ahead and get some formal education in horticulture or botany, but really, just starting out small at home, cultivating plants, is a great place to start and get outside and see what's out there and just learn and enjoy. Thank you for joining me today. I hope you learn more about horticulture and working with plants. So get out and explore and have fun.